Hi guys, Retro Jingo here. Welcome back to my channel. Now today we're gonna do one of my favorite things, and that is taking a disc box, opening it, <laughs> and look at the discs and what they contain. Now this is just a new one. I have absolutely no idea what's inside, but. The thing I do is just uh, taking, uh, looking at these discs, I mean, this one is alright, because uh, what it contains is written here, that's nice, but as you can see here, this, this one has a label on it. Private Einscape, Contraplane, Januar, Februar, yeah, this is uh, from a guy's office, and this is again, something like that. Winterferie 1985. Oh my god, this is from the mid 80s, <laughs> as you guess. Alright, um, nice, it's written here Double Dragon 3. Then I just uh, look at the, the discs, and every time I find something that is you can, like this, this one usually I would, I would check what's inside it, but uh, most of the time I just read here, and I was just too young to remember most of the Commodore 64 games but one of the most awesome thing that I um, that I like about it now is when I find um, I, I, I played Commodore 64 I had one but uh, my memories are from the the Amiga times you know when I was 10 or something like that but um, when I find the same games that I played on the Amiga, when I play them here now on my Commodore 64, Commodore 128, and listen to the music on the SID chip, because I um, I have, what's it called, M music ears? <laughs> I, remember, I remember music, I like uh, Amiga music and all that, but um, it's so awesome to listen to, for example, Shadow of the Beast on the Commodore 64, uh, when I'm used used to it on the Amiga, and it sounds so nice on the 64. I mean, uh, until now, uh, I don't know any of these games. Not by name, Ninja Spirit, I know. But um, G Force, don't know, guys. Let's see, let's see what do we have here. We got Kickoff. That was awesome on the Amiga. Come on with something awesome, man. Like Shadow of the Beast. What does it say? Oh my god. Look at this, guys. One of my favorite games on the Amiga, Turkin. Oh, oh it says Turkin. Okay, page one, Turrican, page two, Turrican two. Oh man, this is a nice disc. So let's just check it out, guys. Now we got on this uh, Commodore 128, it's got the, um, what's it called? Dolphin DOS installed. So I can just press F7 and it begins loading and it shows me the what's it called, what the disc contains, you can see again, F7, then it reads, I love that dolphin dust thingy, so um, let's break, and load Turkin man, the music, oh, damn, <laughs> no, no, load, There we go. The music on the Amiga is just incredible. One of the best ever. Ah, uh, what now? That's because I made that thingy. Let's do this again and do it the proper way. Load. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> And with this dolphin thingy, uh, uh, the break error is just, the list is so long. 
what is it already i mean it it loads so fast with this dolphin thing built in but this one was just too fast i don't know oh we need there we go i just um what's it called i just love looking at these discs and finding out what they contain um let's see tv sports last mission crackdown x-men operation thunderbolt i think i know that one too off-roader oh p47 thunder it's an awesome shoot 'em up game on the arcade i this one i have to try impossible mission guys Bloodman. castlevania is an awesome game on the nintendo and and look at this this is on uh, you can see this side and also the other side so this must be a big game this one i have to try on the commodore 64 castlevania what do we have here wonder lane turbo outrun again both sides i hope the camera sh altered beast that was awesome on the um, on sega master system then we have dragon it's awesome that 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 it's written because uh, mo oh man let's just take a quick look at these Street Rock! That was awesome on the Amiga! I used to love that game! Oh, Ghostbusters! Again! What? There we go. And also this, uh, as you can see, Turrican 1. It's a multi-loading game. And... Um, I bought the SD to IEC and I was just so pumped about it, but maybe it's because of me. Uh, it was just in the beginning of uh, the year when I started with all this Commodore madness. But um, some of the games worked perfect on the SD to IEC, but Turkane, it didn't work. I don't know if it's because it's a multi-loading game, don't know. Double Dragon. Street Rod again, both sides, Street Rod, Back to the Future, DuckTales, Ikari Warriors, oh, I have to try that guys, I love the music. Absolutely no idea. <laughs> okay, we got a lot of games. Turkan. Oh, it looks really bad on the camera. Dude, where's the music? Music? No. If. Oh my god, the Commodore 64 version does not have music? I mean, I love the music of this game. It's just... Damn. Where's the... There's some sort of... There we go. It's just not the same without the music, man. Now, I mean, it's amazing that it can run on a Commodore 64, but if you tried the Amiga version, <laughs> yeah, all right. So let's try another game. It's not the best on the Amiga, sorry. Let's reset this. 
Yeah. Okay, we got Midnight Resistance or what's it called? Then Ikari must be on the other page. As you can see, 182 blocks or what's it called? I mean, usually this one, this would take, I don't know, a couple of minutes, but with this dolphin thingy, it's, it's fast. And this is just a standard uh, 1541 disk drive, and it's already ready to run. Nice. I don't know, it, it looks really bad on the camera. <laughs> in real life, it looks great. Yeah, let's look at some more games here. Lüge Jugel. Unlimited lives, no. Skip level. Yeah, guys. This is how I check my discs. Rainbow, oh yes! I have to try that one too. <laughs> okay. Oh, again, multi-loading game. Yeah. We got something called Tomcat. Okay, on two discs. Must be a big game, guys. Don't know. Oh. Do, do, do. oh, it's awesome! It's the same melody, but um, uh, auto fire. Oh yes. Okay. Oh, that's sexy. <laughs> nice. Oh, look at that, guys! <laughs> Alright. So you could collect thingies and... Um, oh, damn! I, it, it, it's hard to play like this with my little finger here. Okay, I, I remember the tune from the Amiga version. Oh, man, it's with the sit chip it's better on the amiga i'm sorry guys but uh, oh, not better but i don't know i like them both nice <laughs> oh damn nice one guys all right well uh yeah this is how i do guys and this is one of my favorite things to yeah, find these old games and uh, I probably never played this one on the Commodore 64. I have I have no memory of it, but on the Amiga it was an awesome game and the music of the SID chip is just, it's so fun. So uh, yeah, just want to share this one with you guys. So uh, thank you for watching. Now I will play some Rainbow, Rainbow 2 probably. <laughs> have a nice day guys. Bye.